Yeah, you know, I love french fries, but chicken fries? What? Okay, it doesn't matter because we're going to flex on them anyway. Today we're doing our very first butt butter with Burger King. I don't know about the king of burgers. Their chicken fries were the most requested out of everything that I saw, and I get why. They're kind of weird and unique, and I don't know. I don't like the concept of a chicken fry. It's like at that point, just make fried chicken. Like you don't have to go through all that. You just don't. I guess it's cool because you can put it in your mouth like that, but but even then, like no, no. I don't want this to be the whole dialogue. So with all that said, let's just make this, shall we? Burger Bing. Can I get two orders of the chicken fries? Can I also get sauce with it? We don't have a special sauce for it. We just have like this. Barbecue, ranch. I'll do it without the sauce then. You don't have fry sauce. How could you have chicken fries without the fry sauce? It's okay, it's okay. Papa, Papa will take care. Thank you. you so we've got the bag. This is our first Burger King, is it not? I think it is. Oh, it's like a modern art burger. You didn't have to do all that. All right, the box. Kind of like it, I dig it. All cluck, you tweet. What? God, there's a lot of stuff on this. Hashtag chicken fries. Hey, check, check, yeah. We all do hashtags, right? Welcome to 2007 when Instagram was launched. Kind of look like skinny mozzarella sticks, but uglier. Ugly. They didn't have any sauce, so this is sauceless. Oh. <laughs> I mean, listen, listen to how these, these snap first off. That sounds like a tore piece of foam in half. The aftertaste is super bitter because the oil's been on for God knows how long, um, but they do taste okay aside from that. Like the, uh, the MSG helps, so there's that. They're not quite juicy considering there should be plenty of fat in this. The McDonald's nuggets were better than this. These, are, these just have clout because they're in the shape of a fry. Oh, we, uh, we're, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do better that, if that wasn't evident. Well, well, well. This is kind of a similar thing to the McDonald's nuggets in the sense of ground chicken, but before we go there, let's first make our chicken fry sauce since BK underwhelmed us by not even having it. Get yourself a medium saucepan and add half a cup of ketchup, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two and a half tablespoons of dark brown sugar, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of fine sea salt, one tablespoon of white vinegar, and two tablespoons of honey. Optionally, give it a little sprinkle of magic dust, also known as MSG. And lastly, a tablespoon of your favorite hot sauce. Give that a stir, place it on a stove over medium heat, and as soon as that starts to bubble, let that simmer and reduce for eight minutes while stirring occasionally. Now, what's that look like to you? That's a good old fashioned barbecue sauce, kind of. But hang on, pour that bad boy into a small bowl and add half a cup of yellow mustard, half a cup of mayonnaise. Yes, I know there's a lot of ingredients, right? Just stop complaining. If you're not, then uh, papa kiss you. Oh, uh, <laughs> one last thing. I also added some spicy chili crisp because, you know, why not? There's already like 10 ingredients, about a tablespoon. Anyways, give that some whiskey business until thoroughly combined and Marvel at a king of chicken sauces. Now, what exactly makes up a chicken fry? Chickens mating with fries? Fries mating with chickens? It all sounds very wrong and cryptic. Instead, we must first begin with ground chicken. I'd recommend grinding your own, which if you choose to do so, get yourself one pound of chicken breast, slice it into nice long strips, place it into a bowl, then rough chop a quarter pound of pure chicken skin, which you can buy from a butcher or strip off some chicken thighs. You know, those chicken thighs you forgot in your fridge that you're just letting them sit there and rot away. Uh, make sure they're not actually rotting. To that, you're gonna add two teaspoons of garlic powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of MSG, two teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of ground white pepper, and one teaspoon of granulated sugar. Now mix all that up, prep a meat grinder, and look, I've said it before, if you have a stand mixer, get the meat grinder attachment. It's like 40 bucks and it's incredible for stuff like this. I use it all the time. Anyway, run your meat through your grinder gradually until all of it is ground. And just look at that, it's perfectly ground chicken. And of course, if you don't have a grinder, simply buy pure ground chicken breast and skip the skin. Okay, so we have our spice ground chicken. Now all we need to do is shape it. Using a bowl of water, dampen your hands to keep the meat from sticking and form your chicken into the dimensions of, well, a French fry. Yes, literally a French fry. What, what were you expecting? Go as thick or thin as you want. Although I found a little under a half inch thick to be perfect. The length is up to you, but try not to get too crazy because nobody here wants to measure that. This takes some time, so just be patient and become one with your chicken. Now, once you've got your meat sticks, pop those thangs in the freezer for 15 minutes. Now, while those are firming up, get your katsu-style breading station ready. Here we have a bowl filled with one cup of all-purpose flour, which I've also seasoned with two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of MSG, two teaspoons of Spanish paprika, and two teaspoons of kosher salt. The next bowl is two to three eggs, cracked and beaten with one tablespoon of water until homogenous, and lastly, one cup of panko bread 
like crumbs. Okay, it's breading time. First, begin by gently coating your fries evenly with the flour mixture, shake off the excess, then give it a complete coat with egg wash. Make sure there's no dry spots, and finally, toss in the panko for a beautifully even coat. Remember Papa's rule, no naked chicken spots. I want this thing to be a full and single absolute unit of coating. Do you go outside with your jacket and pants, but then cut the backside off your pants so that your butt cheeks are revealed? No, so don't do it with your chicken. Anyway, frying these is super easy. Get a heavy bottom pot, filled about three quarters of the way up with oil, for frying of course. Heat that to 350 degrees Fahrenheit over medium heat, and then fry your breaded chicken in batches of five to eight pieces at a time, depending on the pot, for about three to four minutes or until they emerge transformed, glowing golden brown, and in an ethereal state of crispiness that could send you to the, okay, okay. Let's just taste test this and see how we did. Nobody needs water. What most people need, Ah, it's canned water. That was a terrible <laughs> idea. We've got our chicken fries. The simple idea of a chicken fry bothers me to the very core of my culinary being, so we won't focus too much on that, and rather, I think we should just eat this, shall we? Rather than saying we won, why don't you just take a listen? Got it. The salt levels, the seasoning, the crunch, the texture of the chicken, it's bouncy, it's juicy. They may not have had their sauce, but I made something that I thought would go good with it. Cut the cameras. This is the perfect combo. It's sweet and mustardy, rich. It has a little bit of spice from the spicy chili crisp. By the way, shout out to spicy chili crisp. It solves all problems. Look, you guys know I think we won. Let's bring Vickerman here to taste test. He hasn't eaten at all today. He's just been sitting here starving to death. He puts on the coveted but better mash. Da, ba, da, da, ma you wanna do just plain Jane or sauce? Let's do plain Jane. Number one. Oh, wait. <laughs> Number one. Oh. And number two, hold it like a cigarette. <laughs> blow, always blow when you have a cigarette. I mean, yours is number one. We know. <laughs> number one is the clear winner. No question about it. Texture, taste. Do you see the bitter aftertaste I'm talking about? Yeah. Normally, I don't know what you're talking about with the bitterness. Like, I, I'm used to fast food, so I don't really taste it, but this is definitely bitter. I'm gonna step away. Ahem. Oh. Congratulations, you win. All right, you heard it here, but better. Episode 32, I think. I'm not very good at counting, but I am very good at cooking. See you next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. You wanna know what else is full of crispy, meaty rods dunked into a creamy sauce? B-roll. <laughs>